Well, welcome back everybody and we have House Flipper Pets coming on May the 12th. It's official. The release date is set. 10 popular dog and cat breeds, other cute domestic animal species like rabbits, turtles, parrots and guinea pigs. Exotic companions like iguanas, spiders and snakes, also cute. Brand new house for being mechanics, ceiling modifications, bulb chains, stairs and more. And 11 new ranch themed properties and orders. I am so looking forward to this. More than 700 unique items and much more awaits you in this joy and cuteness filled DLC. We'd like to thank you all for the feedback and support. Your insight really helped us on this long development journey. Happy flipping. All right, so when that comes, this is going to become a more occasional series and I'm going to start a brand new series where we'll work through uh, the missions right from the beginning as though as we would if we just bought all the DLCs and the game and we'll see how that looks like starting out. Uh, especially with the new mechanics, which I'm really looking forward to see how they go with some of those earlier houses. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll stop waffling and we'll get into the game. Uh, this is episode 100 and... No, 392 because I am being dyslexic again. I was going to say 192, but there we go. Alrighty, let's get to it. I mowed my lawn last time. Did did the mole come back? Because he was around and I mowed his little mole house. No, he didn't come back. Alright, well fine, we'll go in the back way. So, let us head on straight over. I know I should do something with this place. Make it look cute. But we're going to head straight on over to our browser. I know. We're going to do the one to flip, which is one of the April Fool's houses that came out for the April Fool's... Um, thing that the guys like to do every year 2022 and uh, we'll get going I have to say it's looking a lot better than this right now although a lot cooler I've used a lot of cool colors in it um, grays and blues a little splash of red here and there we did keep the rat though in case you're curious here we go like I said a lot more cool colors um, I'm not sure I like it this cool, but I do like the little bright touches that you've got with the reds and the greens. And and you're right, these are not ice skis, these are hockey sticks and I am a lunatic for thinking otherwise. Thank you to... now who t someone pointed that out to me in the comments, I really appreciate that. Let's go with... I know, I was looking for my inventory, I have to realise I don't have one in this game. What was I thinking? Alright, so this area is done. This area is done. Yeah, little splashes of colour. Uh, I think I should probably put a computer in there. I like that. I do. It's just very chill. Okay, uh, and we have to do the hallway as well, don't we? Oh boy, yes, yes, we're, we're going to be uh, like renovate the apartment and then the hallway and hopefully management won't get too mad at us. Radio. Uh, I think okay I you know I was gonna get rid of the ducks until I saw that. Oh, we need a shelf for the demon duckies. Alrighty uh, we are gonna get rid of maybe some of this stuff here. No one wants to buy a place with old makeup in it so uh, and we are gonna get rid of that. So we're gonna use zappity zap. I, I kind of like that but we are gonna I, you know we could leave all of that too oh I know I don't know what I want we are gonna retile oh yeah we're still gonna do that too uh, sell that sell that sell that um I am gonna sell that actually I'm gonna sell all of this bit because what I want to do is I want to put a shower bay in that corner uh, I'm going to keep the nice grey floor. I'm not sure if I put that in here or if someone else did, but I like it, so it stays. Uh, we're going to give the walls... Let's have a look at what we can do with the walls for this. I mean, we can do the... No, 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 we're looking for tiles. Let's just go into the tile section. We have the Umbri, Umbra Granite. I know, this from the Luxury DLC has really spoiled me. We also have the Nyx Snowy Marble. The Tenebris Dark Quartzite is really dark. This would add a little bit of fun to the walls, but maybe not. Um, I know, we're into being serious around here. 
Imperador marble grey, no. Uh, ooh, beam brick, nice. Tread plate, no. I could go with those, but I don't really want to. I oh, know we've got the Renabris grey marble on the floor. We could go with the Griseo small pattern marble. Actually, I think we might have the. It's it's possible we have the. Okay, now what is that? Okay, that's, that'll give me a better idea. Let's go back into wall tiles. What did I say we had on the floor? On the walls? I, I said we thought we had this. It looks very much like it's the Renibus grey marble on the floor, on the walls. So we could put the Griseo small pattern marble. Yeah, it does look very much like that, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's not this that has holes in the middle but we could put that on the walls um but i i don't know i like the facade stone that's kind of cool maybe not tread plating the walls maybe not decorative light porcelain would no because then we've got two different kinds of patterns going to war with each other let's not do that light gray herringbone tiles is nice because the herringbone would reflect the the diagonals um as opposed to the harsh horizontals that we will otherwise put in ceramic tiles gray no, I like the grey square, but no. Grey bubbles. Bear with me. Just just for a little bit. Alrighty, let's see what it what happens. I just don't think the circles are gonna go with the I have a really bad feeling about this. And it might give it a fun kind of world, but I just think it's the wrong thing to be putting up here. Let's let's give it a shot and and uh, just see if it if we're going to dislike it as much as I think we are. I mean, I like it because it's it's a uh, it's fun, it's bubbly. Ignore the pun, please. And um, and I just think it's it's a nice contrast to the floor. But having said that, I, I don't think it's that good a match. So maybe not. Let's have a look at the other one we were we were thinking about, which was a little bit further up. The um the the small small grey, the small grey griseo. That doesn't look very grey to me, but uh, okay now it does. Let's let's have a look and see what we think of this. It doesn't look very small to me either, although it is smaller than what's on the floor, and I think it's going to suit it a lot better. It's also a bit darker than I like, so we might make half walls, or we might put in some kind of grey paint to uh, lighten it out a little bit that's this is where i want to put the shower bay uh no on second thoughts i don't think that works either so we'll just zap those maybe something plain plain and not too patterned gray and that would be nice she says after saying not too patterned uh no stone cladding what about the imperador all right i think the imperador is going to be too dark uh, yeah, probably. Let's just try it anyway. Yeah, no. Uh, it's also, it's also patterned, which, which I don't like. Uh, all right. So we, we, we definitely are after something plain. More like the hexangular. Okay, no, they're not plain. Ugh. Uh, gray small grey, the quartzite you just check this one it looks almost like a repeat of the the other one but let's just so my th problem with these is they look more brown than grey uh, it's not a brown bathroom it's a grey bathroom yeah no uh just pop that down and sell those. I know. I'm going to spend a fortune testing tiles on the walls in the bathroom. The Aaron concrete. Now this does look grey. It's concrete though. I'm a little bit surprised. But maybe it will suit. Okay, so my brain is doing maybe this works or okay, just pop that down. Uh, or maybe, maybe I should just do what I've been avoiding doing. Okay, there's the Eclipse Brick. No, I don't want to do that. 
What about there's this grey square patterny thing that I've been avoiding doing. So we have the Amora stone. We have the Satura grey and the Satura grey in the light variation might actually be what we're after and I've been ducking away from it. Because it's squares not diagonals but no no buts just no all right what else we got i know i've got to pick something right uh i don't know did we try this a minute ago let's grab it and see So what I'm thinking is I've got this imposing wall over here. Actually, you know what? I think we'll keep this. Because it, it's kind of reflective of the timber in some ways. So we've got this imposing wall over here. Okay, let me just zap, zap all of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in half walls with this. Okay, so I can only do it in white, which is not going to make me happy, but... Yeah, I was right until we just had white as an option for half walls. Let me just check. No. See, just, just freaking no, man. All right. Fine. What did we, what did we have on the floor? We've got the Renibus Grey Marble. And I'm pretty sure, let me just go to small, small exangular grey. And oh, wait, that only comes in white as well, doesn't it? Because what I'm after is I'm after something that comes in a, um, with, with the grey shades. So some of these half walls can be, I mean, I could do that, but that would just make me unhappy. So some of these walls, you get the option, clearly not with those, of having, no. Um, above them, you have like some of the gray paint that you can get. I could just put Parvis tread plate on the walls. We we could. We could. Uh, see, like this, like the white porcelain mosaic has the steel grey and the silver glaze here. And I was kind of hoping for something that would give me that option. This does. Deep grey porcelain mosaic. So why don't we why don't we see what that looks like on the wall? You know, that may actually work. Maybe. So basically I want full length. For part of the for this part because i want to put a shower bay in and then what i want to do is i want to do a half wall around the rest okay so i know it, it doesn't look terribly gray but it actually does pick out some of those highlights so then what we do is we grab this uh, and i'm thinking maybe the silver glacier because it's lighter yeah that that'll do right and then that should hopefully be okay here all right so all the way around yeah okay that's so that's what we're going to do um i finished with the shower base we'll get rid of that just grab this I know, technically, technically I could just paint up here and it would probably be cheaper and faster, but you know what? We have tiles in our hands, we might as well just go with them. I think I'm going to need at least one more pile, maybe two. Um, I'm just going to play it by ear. Yeah, definitely two. Never mind, we'll just get this done. 
So now basically we've got this grey theme throughout the house, but we've also got in the other room, we've got that green and that red. And I'm just contemplating whether or not we should change our bathtub to reflect. Actually, let's put in the shower bay first. All right, so now we've got a cleaner kind of bathroom. Literally. Uh, let's go with our shower. Uh, and I've, again, I've forgotten what side I want the walls on. So this may be an expensive activity for me, but never mind. Shower plumbing system. Because I want to put it over here. Actually, I think, I think I need to have it over here. Pull my head out of the bath shower. There we are. All right, well, unscrew that. I know, try not to get water all over the floor. We're going to go for one of those nice swanky corner showers that we had. So we'll just go into bathroom fixtures, baths and showers. Okay. I mean, I love some of these new showers they've added in. I do. Okay, a left side shower. See, I always get confused on whether it's left or right. So the left side shower uh probably means i should have put the thing on the other wall let's just see if that's the case yeah so all right so i need a right side shower if i can get one uh all righty seam right side shower that would work poma right side shower that looks kind of cool doesn't it I wonder which which dlc that one came out of oh you know we can check it maybe sort by okay no let's let's stop faffing about oh where's my bath and showers again home of right side let's see if we got this right no man i can't for the life of me okay is it a poma left side no no it should be it should be this way maybe Poma right I mean it would fit I'm just no <laughs> all right so that's not the shower for us today we're not going to do the sauna shower cabin I really would like to see a freestanding hot tub that would be funny let's have a look at this right side shower here just to get an idea of where we're Messing up, okay. Oh, this is it. Okay, this is more what I'm after. I'm going to get some more uh, tiles in a minute. Let's assemble it. Just see what it looks like made up. I know, I love this part of the game where you have absolutely no budget worries. Because you've got enough in the bank, although I, I probably have to start watching what I'm doing. Alright, I like that now. But as you can see, it doesn't fit like a normal shower, so I'm going to have to get tiles from both from both sides that I've used. Let's uh, just go here. We're going to grab our deep grey porcelain, stick that down there. We're going to grab our deep grey porcelain with our silver glacier top. We're going to stick that down there. We're going to grab this, grab this that there I'm going to put those down E pick those up I'm going to just make sure that we have no wet areas not covered by tile and then we're going to sell both all right so now we have this shower where it's not got a swinging door so we can put something in this space which is good because that's where the toilet's going we can step right into the shower and do things got our bathtub right here and I'm thinking that can probably stay and we're just going to put our toilet back in this corner so we'll go with that I know I'm excited just to see see it starting to come together I might just move this over so you're not walking straight onto it when you come out of the shower there we go grab ourselves a nice a nice toilet somewhere not a metal toilet. 
uh, you know what? I think we might go right back to the very original set. Well, Grano looks good. And we might actually grab ourselves a flatty. There we go. Uh, no, we're not going to make it grey. That'd be awful. We'll assemble that. Just pop that in there. Right. Uh, the reason we wanted that there, okay, because we're going to need things like go into our accessories, go into our bathroom. We're going to need some... Ooh. Okay, no, they're pretty, but let's just focus. Uh, we're going to need toilet roll holders. I like this one. It doesn't have a, a roll on it, but that's okay. We'll just pop that there. Um, we are going to need a laundry basket. Kind of worries me putting the laundry basket where I'm about to put it, because I always worry that I'm going to, you know, drop something in the toilet instead of the basket. But we need, we need our containers. We'll toddle down to, I like that they've put the trash bins in the containers now. That makes it a little easier to find. I'm not finding my other laundry baskets. It's, oh, because I'm going too fast. Let's go with white. All right, it's there's a collision space problem there. Turn my flashlight off. Uh, I do want a, I do want a new light fixture though. How could I forget the light fixture? You know, I'm almost tempted to go a little bit crazy and put in something fancy, like you know, something with crystals and a chandelier. I know. I was thinking chandelier. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I mean, that's kind of cute. You'd have this bit touch of luxury in your bathroom. Ah, uh, let's not do that. Radio. I know. Stop faffing about. Ooh. You know, I like that. That's that's going in. Radio. It sheds a, a decent amount of light. All right. I have the bathtub here. I have a shower here, which means I need to put the sink. Oh. Okay. I know, I've made, I've created a problem for myself. Don't you hate it when you do that? It's possible I don't want that basket there. Let's just shove that over here in the shower for a minute. But then I would have to have the world's narrowest sink, right? Oh, I know. I'm a dope. Let's just sell the toilet again. And add its accessories. We're going to pivot that. Okay, so... Installations, toilet, pivot. And we're going to grab bathroom, toilet. I could just do a fez suspended. That might save me a bit of space. What do you think? Except then I need a different fixture. All right, let's go with this. Okay. I'm going to put our uh, toilet roll holder back in. It's down in here somewhere. There it is. All right, so you do have enough room there, which means you also have enough room for the world's narrowest sink. So let's grab ourselves a sink, a sink fixture. Boom. Ha-ha. We are going to have to move that light switch. It is going to get in the way very shortly. You used to be able to do this in any order. They, it looks like they've made the orders a little bit more. So you've got to be pay more attention to them and not just do your own thing the way you feel like it. Bathroom fixtures, sinks. I know there's a reason I'm looking at it. Uh, if we did that way though, we'd want to have the light coloured one and we want to do it in the light. In the light grey. And then what you would do is... 
liked it. I'm not sure I like it. All right. But I do like the wood. Uh, I, however, I'm not sure it's going to be it's going to be narrow enough for what we need. So I actually like it to be exactly the way it is. Uh, I just want to stand a little bit side on to see. So that doesn't leave me a lot of space in there. So maybe not that one. Let's look for something a little bit narrower. That's quite narrow. The Asul light coloured sink is also quite narrow. It has some storage space under it. Um, I used to go with the Quergen for narrow spaces because it, it's beautifully narrow. So we have your soft maple finish and your white. Yeah, see that's that gives us enough. Let's just pull it off the toilet a little bit. Just very quickly assemble that. No, here I am fixing up this bathroom, wondering what to do about my own. There, that that works a lot better. Yeah, so you've got space to go in here. Now, the next thing we need is a mirror, so let's go with that. So we're going to need our decorations and our mirrors. I love how they've done that. They've changed it so that you can um, go in. All right, now you've got mirror modules we might stick with that or you've got your leader mirror which comes with its own light let's go with this or you've got this one but i think that'll drive me crazy because it's not the look i'm after Ooh, neither is that oh uh, okay No. All right, no. No. I know, I'm like, I remember there being other mirrors. Yeah, yeah, no, you're remembering wrong. You have a very imaginative memory. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to do our mirror module. I remember these being bigger. I do. Alright, like I said, I have an imaginative memory. I'm going to grab our leader. I don't like it. Let's just move that. See, I don't like that being there. It's not the right height. So we might just pop that there. All right. We may actually go back and put those, those mirror modules in. Oh, I see. Wait. Yeah. All righty. Let me just shove that up the wall a little bit. All right, there they were there were a couple of different sizes of mirror module. I just completely missed it. Don't be cooperative, will you? It's like fine, I won't be. Thanks. And now it's cockeyed. It's the, this the sink tap. The minute you get onto the sink tap, you just you're lost. Okay, so now we're just going to try and work it so that we can get it centered without actually being able to stand front onto it. That looks a bit better. All right, we've got plenty of mirror now. Yeah, and I don't like it. Fine, it's okay. Now. Oh, that's right, I have a bathtub behind me, don't I? Very small bathroom with a ton of stuff in it. Okay, right. We need our basket, which we're going to grab out of here. And we're going to put here. 
because it fits. Let's sew. We need somewhere for our row of duckies, which are happily glowing on the floor. So we're going to put these up above the bathtubs. We're going to need some shelves. We're going to go into our furniture and our living room and our shelves. We're going to wander down here to... Ooh, they look kind of cute. You know, I've just changed my mind as to how we're going to do this. Uh, you're not surprised. I know you're not. Yeah, I know, but I do like it. So we're going to go this way. It's not going to let me have that third one, is it? No. All right, so we're going to have to just center it so it looks like it's meant to not be all the way to the wall. There we go. Now we're going to grab these duckies one at a time. And we're just going to have our little row of marching duckies. I might, I was going to put him in the lead, but I might actually just sit him in the middle there. Which means I'm going to have to move the other one along. Right, it wasn't pivoting up here. All right, this will give me a little bit more control over what I'm doing. So I can see where the the horizontal placement now. All right, not quite sure why the light's gone off on that one. I broke it. Oh, maybe I did break it. I'll have to check that. I didn't know you could break the duckies. Let's find out. Nope, not broken. It's okay. It's just not on. Right, I'm not sure what's going on with that one. It, it won't rotate a certain direction. So if if my ducky won't, my ducky is broke. I'm going to sell this ducky then, and I'm going to find a, find a ducky replacement. Uh, okay, that's the destroyer of worlds duck. No, we don't want that one. So this must be the devourer of souls. <laughs> the devourer of souls duck. This came with the uh, the Halloween thing. Right, at least it gives me the option to turn its light on again, which is what the other one didn't. So there we go, we have our, our duck display. We need to have a rug down here, and I'm thinking we have these yellow ducks, so we might actually see if we can find a yellow rug for the floor. So let's do that. Decorations floor. Not that kind of yellow rug. A long, ooh. I was going to say a long, narrow yellow rug, but you know, some of these are mega pretty, and we should probably think about them. Or we could just do something plain like that in the small. Except no, 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 no. We need this this rich color that we had up here. See that one? Maybe in the medium. And I was thinking I could put it. So that's kind of there. And and my other gut instinct was 
that it had to be with a darker yellow around so you kind of want it there because I don't know why it works better but it does alrighty and then you might want another one actually you know what we'll do with this one uh, the dark is that way so we want to put the dark this way so now we have these two yellow rugs, which means instead of the grey towels I was thinking of putting in, we want to have yellow towels. So let's go into accessories and bathroom. And hang on a minute. Oh yeah, no, no, you can. You get them in. I'm going to need to put shelves in to put towels on that I want if I want to have these towels. I love these towels. These are kind of cool. So, I wonder if I can grab that Noah Noah thing with a hanger. I think that works a bit better. Right. So we kind of have. Okay, maybe not. Sigh. Just go up again, see if I've got a towel with no hanger, a rail with no hanger though. That doesn't seem to be the case. And I want to have, I want to be able to put the towels that I want on it. So, all right. So it looks like we're going to be stuck with using these ones with the hanger. Uh, which means I actually want to put them about... Right, so I'm going to have to move my ducky shelves down. I'm not sure if I just broke all my ducks, but let's find out. No. No, okay, so apparently they're not broken, but they're not going to turn on again. Fine, whatever. Let's go with our, with our troublemaking shelves. And what we want to be able to do, let me just jump, 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 there we go. Because we want to grab these folded towels and we want to be able to sit them on the shelf. So I'm going to grab these. All right. And I'm going to try and fit them. I don't think I can fit three in. No. All right, so we're going to have to center them. Or we could try the next size up. Let me just see what medium does. You know what? We could do medium. And then a small. Let's grab that out there. And then what we'll do is we'll grab this one over here and pop it in as close as we can. And then we'll grab... Then we'll grab the mediums again. Nope. Sit them there. See, now I really want to turn the duckies back on because they were they would match that beautifully. All right, so we're going to have to go find our demon ducks of doom just so we can turn them on. Maybe if I go out and come back in, they'll come back on. Like, I'll be able to turn them back on. No, I am going to have to sell them all and start from scratch. That's fine. We know what we want. I broke the ducks. Never mind. Where are the ducks found? Here we go. Let's just grab these. Devourer of Worlds duck. So troublemaking duck one. Alright, and then we want this one and we want him in here and then <laughs> oh I know do not ask how old I think I am because the, the estimate would disappoint you 
All right. I think that is our bathroom. Let's see if we can get a shot of it in all its ducky glory with its chandelier. There we go. And we'll just toddle over here and see if we can do it any kind of justice. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work. Can I get off the toilet seat, please? Builder, you and your size 10 boots, quit it. You know what? We don't have any cupboards in here. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Well, of course I'm going to put one in. Let's see if we can find a bathroom cupboard. Ah, uh, bathroom. Hanging. Grey. It would fit perfectly right here. There we go. Like that. And then we'll just toddle over this way. I wonder if I can get a shot from inside the shower. Alright, it's it's possibly not the best shot, but we'll try that. There we go. There's our bathroom in our apartment, which leaves us with just enough time to toddle this way and fix up this abominable hall because fan fair dinkum, would you like to come home to something like this? Can I, can I sell these or will the landlord get mad at me? Okay, he might get mad at me, but I don't think he's going to complain. Let us go with lights and ceiling lights we were after. I'm actually just going to go with some really bright light in here because who wants to have a dim, dark hallway outside their apartment? Let's so we'll go with one right here, one centered here, and one centered here and we should have a light switch of some kind uh yes we definitely need a light switch of some kind oh no, there it is i see it oops turn that on right now it's more brightly lit you can see it in all its horrendous glory uh carpet's never a good choice for these places let's uh let's redo the floor while we're at it i know they're going to yell at us so bad but anyway we could do just plain concrete but i think we might give them something nicer and not too hard to clean. We do have the Renabris grey marble. But I was just thinking something that's a little bit plain. Actually, no, something that's got big tiles. You know what? We might go with the. We could just do the marble. I mean, who? You know, I know it's a flat. We should probably not do that to them, but. going to change their entire landscape here. Beautiful. And then what we want to do is we want to just do some nice plain walls. I mean I could do this. No. Oh, uh, you know what, maybe. Well, panels. We have stone grey panels. Yeah, you know what, I'm kind of sold on those now. We're brightening up the place. Look at that. At least now you can find the light switch, right? I'm going to leave the, the other tenants with their lovely green doors because uh, I think I think it should be up to them as to whether or not they, they, they have to change their doors. And for all I know, they might like green. I'm actually, to be honest, I'm not sure I'll be allowed to change their lovely green doors. We should try that out. I mean, I don't know what the body corporate's going to say, but 
But this is a much nicer hallway to come into than what they had. And I didn't charge them for it, so you know. I know I've got dude as the as the head buyer now. Oh, it makes me so sad. But that's okay. You know what? I wonder if I could Let me just put that put that down. Grab this. All right. So now now my my entry hall is a lot nicer. So let's put a couple of plants in there. Because we can, so we're into that last stage of of um of where we're where we're at. I kind of like these. I, I don't think I've got anywhere I can you know I can stick it right one one over here. There we go. And then we might see if we can find um oh we've got these freestanding walls I forgot about those. No, right? They should be relatively easy for the body corporate to maintain too. And then the next thing we're going to want is just something simple to put um, in the corners, like some tall, thin plant. Or, okay. No, that won't work. Okay, no, we won't do that there. We won't put anything on this wall because it'll just be, um, it'll narrow the hall way too much. So we'll go back to plants. So we're going to look for, um, I, I don't think that's going to work. I think we can try it, I suppose. No, it's too small. I need it taller. Okay, those are wall plants. They're kind of cool. Oh, what about this? Oh my gosh, that's huge. Yes, but will it fit? No, not really. Oh, no, that doesn't fit there, but it might fit right there. And then you want something shorter on the other side. That's pretty. That's too short. I need something like a little bit taller. A little bit shorter, a little bit taller. I don't know, make up your mind. That's the yucca. I don't think that's the right thing, though. No, see, that's going to put someone's eye out. Okay, um, hmm. What about the Sensevera Lerenti? If I remember rightly, that was pretty tall, but not very cooperative. I mean, you know, residents here need to like jungles, right? That's not going to work. Let's just zap those. What about the Dracaena Marginata land? Let's try that one. Oh, there we go. More what I was looking for. All right. And then I want something picturesque here. I know it's it's not a public housing 
place, uh, I guess. I I'm just not sure how these, despite that, how these would actually work. Like whether or not they'd be wrecked in a little bit, but I want. Jungle of Ignorance looks good. Let's see if we can... Hit that there. Radio. Oh, which means we need something over here. I know, it's not even my property. What am I doing? Brightening up the hallway. With something... Do I have tall skinny pictures? We could do that, that'd just be cute. Uh, I'm looking for something that's thematically similar in colour and in, um, I mean, so this would probably work. Okay, make it narrower. All right, that's the whole way done. I'm, I'm actually a little bit happier with that. Do what else we need, though? Maybe clocks. I was thinking a clock, but okay, let's not do that. So, all right, that brings me back in here, which is still very grey, without a lot of plant life and not a lot of pictures. I have made the smoths very happy, though. Oh, sorry, the gentarts very happy. You know what? I think that's it. I think that's what we're going to be at. Sigh. Yeah, place for the puppy, place for the kitty. I think that's it. I think we're going to auction this place. Let's go. Alrighty, we're going to auction this place and head back to the uh, to our main apartment, and uh, then we'll call this episode a day. Let's uh, let's get going. Alrighty, hit that enter button. House sale. You bought the house for 98000 Current budget is $2 million. Okay. You've worked on the house for 4 hours, 19 minutes and 16 seconds. Alrighty, let's put this place on auction. Giorgio. Clean and fragrant. Sauna. Elegant. No trash. Interior missed out on the recently... Oh. He wants a sauna now. He never used to like a sauna. One bedroom... Wow, everyone is whining about the lack of a sauna. What do they think I am? A magician. It's not like I can put a magic portal in here. There are too many rooms. Of course there are too many rooms. Wait, hang on a minute. Oh no, you like four bedrooms. That's right. I'd make a 54,000 profit with them though. Let's see if in spite of... That's the only negative opinion. You know what? Why don't we Why don't we see if, uh, if they'll, they'll negotiate up to i don't know what whatever that is yeah let's negotiate this offer your offer's too low i can sell the house <gasps> yay we'd be glad to live here all right well maybe i should have pushed them a little higher but 75 grand's not too bad and on that note guys i'm gonna leave you if you enjoyed this episode please hit like and if you want to see more please hit subscribe we're gonna accept that offer before i finish out of here we'll go through <gasps> this bit I love this bit. There we go. All right, guys. I think before we go, though, we're going to have a quick look at what we might be doing next week. Uh, let's have a look. Next week, though, I think this time next week... Um, pets will be out oh my gosh i'm excited however there is another april fool's house so next time we come back to this series we'll be uh, starting to work our way through all of these the pets flipper houses will be in here but i won't touch them here until i finish them in uh, or started on them in the other series maybe i'll think about that unless you guys ask me to uh the one to move in i think is the other april fool's house but um 
there we go so basically to unlock all the houses in this series I need to finish flipping and selling all of these uh, and then I can just work on whichever house I would like but the next episode you see will be the first episode of a new house flipper series which will start us out with all the DLCs in place including the pets DLC and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what that looks like if you were to start a new game with everything alrighty let me know what you think and as always have a great week out there and I'll check you later